To make most of our airsoft guns work, we need to put batteries in them. Not really the gas ones, but we're not talking about gas ones in this video. We need batteries to make the motors go around, to make the gears turn, to make the pistons go, and to make the compressed air come out the barrel and send our BB downrange, and hopefully into somebody's skin. Cause that's what we get pleasure from, hurting people. I wonder if anybody's done any like research into if, if airsoft is like, masochism. Maybe that's another video. And you know what? There's different types of batteries to buy when you're buying batteries for your airsoft gun. Who would have thought it? The main two that you're going to find out there are LiPos and NIMS. Essentially NIMS are bigger. They've got different set voltages to LiPos. I only use LiPos though as they've got a better power delivery even though they're arguably more dangerous. In this video I'm going to be talking to you and telling you why if you're not using 11 volt LiPos you should be. I spent the first year of my airsoft life using 7.4 volt LiPos and it was a mistake because I got 11 volt LiPos and not too long ago actually tried them out and oh my god they're amazing. They're so much better than 7 volts so but there are a few considerations that you have to take into account when going across from 7 volt to 11 volt and I am going to be covering those in here so you can make your decision fully educated on whether you think it's going to be a good thing to do or not or whether I think it's a good thing to do or not. It is a good thing. Everybody should run 11 volt lipos, okay? And I happen to have some lipos in front of me. Look at that magic. We've got our 7.4 volt lipo here on this side and we've got our 11.1 volt lipo here on this side. They look different. It's because they are. The 7.4 volt lipo only has two sticks. It's called a nunchuck battery. And then the 11.1 volt one has three. Still called a nunchuck battery because you can do this with them. Don't do that with your battery. I probably shouldn't have done that. Don't do that with your battery. Now my first top tip of the day is get 2000 MAH batteries. MAH is essentially the capacity of the battery, how many milliamp hours you can get in there, which essentially dictates how many times you can pull the trigger of your gun. Now, how many times do you wanna pull your trigger? Lots. With these batteries, if I wanted to, both this one and this one, remember it's just the voltage that's different, the capacity is the same. Both of these, I've never had an issue with them lasting me for the full day. However, I have two of each of these batteries and every time I go at lunchtime or halfway through the day, whenever you break, I swap out my battery for the fresh one that I've got because I wanna make sure that I'm not out in the field with a dead battery. I've seen so many people out there walking around depressed, like carrying their gun, dragging on the floor behind them because their battery's gone dead. Looking at you, Mr. Will. I've even got a clip of you being sad that your battery died. Really? Don't be like Will, okay? Charge your batteries, and he's Mr. Prepared as well. If it can happen to Will, it can happen to everyone. But don't find yourself in that situation. Charge your batteries up all the way, make sure you've got lots of batteries, or not even lots, just two. Two batteries, and have them be decent sized capacities too. 1450 MAH, well, you'll definitely need two to last you throughout a whole day. 2000 MAH, that will be okay for a day, but I'd still recommend swapping it out at lunchtime. Now, I'm not even the kind of guy who uses his gun like tons. Like, you know, I shoot a fair amount, but I just use mid cap mags. And I, I, I try and make shots count wherever possible. I don't take extra BBs out with me. I just shoot when I think I can get a shot. Yeah, that, that's English. You know, be prepared. It's like having a condom. It's better to have it and not need it then need it and not have it. So just do the same with your batteries. Just have extra battery with you. Don't take it out in the field with you though. Just leave it in the safe zone. I see people walking around. They'll just take a battery like that and put it in their pocket. What are you doing? Don't do that. That's silly. <laughs> oh, madness. Some people are crazy. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. 7.4 volt, 11.1 volt. What I want to do is show you the actual difference between the two batteries because it's mind blowing. It is absolutely mind blowing. So I'm going to be using my Crytac CRB Trident Mark II. He's a lovely big boy. As you know, batteries go in the end here, so we're just gonna slide off that butt plate, reveal our little contacts. I'm not gonna worry about stuffing the batteries inside. We're just gonna stick it at the end there, just like that. Boom. The gun is on safe still. I need to get some safety glasses because I keep getting people have a go at me for not wearing safety glasses. It's important to be safe though. I'm gonna do a quick audio test for you so you can hear what the difference sounds like. On full auto, this is what a 7.4 volt battery sounds like. 
then here is what an 11 volt battery sounds like. Quite a significant difference. In fact, I'm gonna show you something quite cool now. I'm gonna show you the waveform of the audio. Here's the waveform of the seven volt, and here's the waveform below of the 11 volt. Every peak of that audio is a BB being fired. Look how, look how big the difference is. Isn't that mad? And literally, I've not done anything to, to the riff. I've not changed the motor. I've not touched the motor. The only thing I've done is swap the battery over, and that's it. That's literally everything and that's the difference you get. Why aren't we all running 11 volt LiPos? See, this is what I mean. Why aren't we just naturally doing it anyway? Now, there are a couple of caveats as to why we don't automatically just default to using 11 volt batteries. Forgot how to speak there. Some guns aren't made for it. Some guns aren't designed specifically in mind to use 11 volt batteries. Now, I think that is very rare and far between. And when you're buying a gun online, it will probably say on there, recommended 7.4 volt LiPo. It will run an 11 volt battery. I will, I'm not gonna say I guarantee it, and I'm not gonna be willing to accept your warranty on my advice here. But what I will say is that your gun will most likely last longer with a lower voltage battery. The higher the voltage, the more wear your electronics are gonna have inside, and the more wear your hardware's gonna have inside. So for example of that, with my 11 volt battery, I know that I can't fire on full auto constantly throughout the day, okay? That would be bad for me to do. With the 7.4 volt battery, it's not really that much of an issue. I can do a lot more, you know, hosing if I wanted to than with the 11 volt one. When I do it with the 7 volt one, nothing really happens. When I do it with the 11 volt one, I can smell my motor. My grip gets warm from the motor heating up. So I, I know that if I carry on doing that, we're gonna run into, into issues, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through my brushes quickly on my motor. My grip could melt. Well, my grip's not gonna melt, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna be putting a lot of extra strain on my piston as well. And with that plastic going forward and bat, 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 hitting so fast, potentially I could crack that. Gearing, potentially you could say you're gonna get extra wear on there as well. Depends how well it's set up initially. Probably not as much of an issue, but you know, there's a lot of issues you can run into if your gun isn't already specifically designed for speed. With that out of the way, let's actually get some hard figures down on how this performs. And to do that, I've got a mag, I've got BBs, so let's just see what our actual RPS difference is between a 7 volt and an 11 volt. These speed loaders are the best thing ever, by the way. Fill this with BBs, get your mag, clip it in, just like that. Boom. And my mag is looking good. Battery into there. Chrono is on. And then three, two, one. 14 rounds per second on the seven volt battery. And here we go now for RPS test of the 11 volt battery. Two, one. 24 rounds per second. So purely going from a 7.4 volt LiPo battery to an 11.1 volt LiPo battery, we are giving ourselves an extra 10 rounds per second. That is nuts. Now beforehand when people would talk about batteries and upgrading and stuff like that, I no way thought that it would be that big of a deal. I was like, yeah, doing your batteries, probably gonna be, you know, maybe an extra four or five BBs. An extra 10 from 14 rounds per second to 24 rounds per second, purely from changing the battery, that is a big, big plus. Caveat, from essentially doubling the performance, I'm doubling the strain that I'm putting on the riff. Like I said before, it may have sounded weird about me saying how the, the, the motor's probably gonna wear out fast, the electronics gonna wear, or like the piston's gonna wear. When you're essentially doubling the strain that you're putting on something, yeah, like there's a good chance that that is something which could happen. So if you've got a riff on the cheaper side, it's something for you to watch out for as that's gonna be a bit of a concern. However, if you're just doing a few bursts and you're not doing sustained fire, you're probably gonna be okay. But please do be aware that if you do up your power and you do, you know, crack out a ton of rounds down range, you probably are gonna be shorted in the lifespan of your riff. But hey, you'll have a lot of fun doing it, so maybe it's not that bad. Thank you for watching. I hope you've been learning things in this video. It's been a pleasure having you with me today. I hope you're keeping safe. 
Look after yourselves, like, share, subscribe, all of that great stuff, and I'll see you in another one. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 What a result, eh? What a result.